Hello, I'm Susan Woodcock. And in this presentation, I want to share with you a little pillow inspiration. This is a companion presentation for the So Much More podcast, 30 Minutes with Workroom Tech, which airs on Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. You can visit the Workroom Tech blog at workroomtech.com to learn more about pillows, pillow closures, and pillow forms. Or if you want to listen to the whole podcast, go to so much more podcast.com and click on the 30 minutes with workroom tech podcast. So we're talking about pillows in this podcast. And at the beginning of the podcast, I asked Seal de Guglielmo, the host of the podcast, I said, Seal, can you imagine a room without pillows? Um, and seriously, think about that. You walk into a living room, you walk into a bedroom, a family room. Can you imagine there being no pillows? Well, certainly in a bedroom, you have pillows for comfort, for sleeping pillows. But pillows are also an important part of interior design. They add personality to a room. So I have this picture of a white sofa. It's a beautiful room, but there are no pillows. Looks a little plain, doesn't it? Doesn't look finished, does it? So I want you to do a little imagination with me and imagine a neutral sofa like this. And use your imagination to think about walking into this room or if this sofa was in your home, what type of pillows? would you put on the sofa? Do you see yourself walking over and, and adding neutral pillows? Maybe white pillows with just a simple trim? Or maybe you see colorful pillows with floral fabrics or textures like velvet or wool or maybe antique textiles or needlepoints or embroidery. You might imagine pillows with ruffles or fringe. We all have a pillow preference in our own homes, and our clients do too. So I thought it would be fun to take this white sofa and imagine adding pillows. So just two square pillows. What would they be? What do you see? Maybe you see more pillows. Often a grouping of pillows is a great way to bring in extra color and pattern and texture. And it's great for your back too. Maybe you love pillows and you just want to fall down into a comfortable sofa filled with plump plush pillows. Or <laughs> maybe, maybe you don't want to do this. <laughs> so now that you've seen a sofa full of pillows, this looks kind of sad. So I want to show you um, a little fun I had with this sofa and my friend Susan Lankenau, who owns the Red Door in Charlottesville, Virginia. And she allowed me to go around her house and pull some pillows to create um, a couple different looks on this white sofa. So there's um, some cut velvet and a needlepoint and some fringe. Or how about going with blues with um, some custom needlepoints and they have button closure on the back. If you'd like to see that, be sure to look at our blog and some big blue checks. Or how about reds? <laughs> Going with um, some red silk damask and needlepoints and a little cute small needlepoint in the center that says, come on in with the dogs sort of an animal theme here, adding some black really pops on that white sofa. Or how about a lot of pillows? So we have some antique textiles with toile and custom needle points, pulling out a lot of red for this sofa. And 
what did you see on that sofa? So I hope you had fun viewing um, the different pillow styles and go back and view it again. And I'd love to hear from you to know what you would add on your sofa. Certainly in my home, um, it's a much different. I have a white um, slipcover sofa and I have some geometric print pillows um, and some solid pillows. So um, what is your pillow preference and what do you love to see? I look forward to hearing from you and I hope you enjoy the podcast and the blog and please leave a message. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye.